Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to show how to find the depth of the beam by a very simple thumb rule. So, the depth of the beam, how we can find the depth of the beam by a thumb rule. So, we see here that this is a beam which is a horizontal member which takes the load. For example, if this load is coming on the beam so this is the beam which will take the load and will produce some bending stresses and then it will transfer the load into the column here and here and column takes the vertical load in this form and then the vertical load will be transferred to the column from the beam but now we're interested how we can know about the depth or the width of the beam so this is a general a thumb rule we call it thumb rule it means that this is not the exact rule to find out the depth or width of the beam but this is approximate way to find out the depth of the beam so it states that the length of the beam dividing by 10 is a very simple formula or the depth can be find out the length of the beam dividing by 12 so these both two formulas can be used to find out the depth of the beam so for example this is d depth of the beam and this is width of the beam now i will show some examples here to make it easy for example the length of the beam is for example the distance between the two columns is known to us so let's suppose we say that the length between the two columns or the length of the beam is 5000 millimeter so we will simply put here in this formula so depth will be equal to the length of the beam which is 5000 meter 5000 millimeter divided by 10 here so you will get here simply 500 millimeter so it means the depth that you should provide here for your beam should be equal to the 500 millimeter it is a thumb rule it's not the fixed value but you can start with this value and design your beam with this value or similarly we can do it with the depth of the beam is equal to the length of the beam which is 5000 divided by 12 and it will give us the value of 6 6 sorry it will give us the value of if we do it correctly it will give us the value of 416 millimeter by calculator so this is the rough value for taking the depth of the beam and start your calculation for designing now how it also one states here the W divided by D or the width of the beam divided by depth of the beam ratio should be if I replace it with W and D it should always be greater than 0 0.4 0 so and this is according to the according to the here I is 1 3 9 to zero this is according to this standard that your width to depth ratio should be greater than 0 0.40 let's take an example for here and let's suppose this is our width of the beam and we suppose it 300 millimeter just an assumption so 300 is the width divided by depth which we found out 500 millimeter so now it will give us the value of 0 0.6 so now we see here 0 0.6 is greater than 0 0.4 so our beam is safe and we can start our designing with this width of the beam we can also take another example for example you change the length of the beam then what will happen for example if i change my length of the beam length of the beam is let's suppose is now the new length of the beam is now let's suppose 8000 millimeter so length so now we will find the depth for example with this formula the depth of the beam will be equal to the so it will be 8000 the length of the beam divided by 10 if we use this formula so 8000 divided by 10 so we get here 800 millimeter is the width of the beam so I will delete it here so now our design depth we can start with 800 millimeter 800 millimeter 
and and our condition to satisfy the width let's suppose we take again the width of the beam is 300 millimeter so what will be the condition for it so w divided by d w is let's suppose 300 again divided by depth which is 800 sorry yes so it is um, 300 is the width which we assume and 800 is the depth which we taken from here so we got here 0 0.37 now in this case it is less than 0 0.4 so according to this standard indian standard what we will do we will have to increase the width of the beam so we have to increase it 400 for example so we will change this to 400 divide by the depth of the beam which is 800 so now if we do we get for 0 0.5 which is greater than 0 0.4 so now this is a safe design so we have to change the width of the beam to 400 and then we are in the safe side according to the standard so this is the way how we can find the depth of the beam in a really simple and way by thumb rule which is not a fixed design rule but with this method we can start our designing for our reinforcement area and our uh, for the main reinforcement of the uh, beam so this is the thumb rule for determining the depth and the the general specification provided by the indian standard thank you for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel